Oh, Rad, what's up, everybody? Guys, we are getting so close to the season finale of the first season of The Flash. This is going to be the penultimate episode, which is called... I need to very quickly look it up. It was something like Rogue... Rogue Air. That's what it is called. Yeah, so... Last episode, I watched it a couple of hours back. Um, left us on a couple of interesting... Well, yeah, parts in the story, let's say, right? So we've got Harrison, Eobard, who apparently has found the key to being able to go... Back to the future, I guess. I would presume, right? Yeah, that's a funny way of putting it. But um, this seems to be what he's been kind of looking for this entire time, right? We know about him, of course, that he basically got stuck in the past. Um, the question remains, why did he travel to the past to, you know, fight Barry over here or whatever, right? I mean, presumably Barry actually... Yeah, that, that's still something that I kind of struggle to make my mind up about. But presumably Barry challenge him to go there or lure him to go there only for him to therefore then get stuck and have to do all of this it's a very strange loop that we're in especially because barry himself is not realizing whatsoever what his involvement in any of it obviously is um yeah is or is going to be or how the fuck are we even supposed to put it but we've got of course therefore yeah that whole element going on i wonder in the first place why eobard needed eddie to be there with him he needed him captured to be able to get that key. I'm not sure what that was about. Like, did he use Eddie for that? Or how exactly did that work? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, other than that, I mean, Barry has already had a conversation with Iris, of course, as well. <laughs> Basically alluding to the fact that Iris is going to end up making a different choice here. And she might just end up going for Barry as soon as uh, Eddie's been been rescued, you know? I feel like that's kind of where we're going to leave this, uh, yeah, this season when it ends. But I could be wrong about it, right? We dealt with Grodd, although even there dealt with is probably the wrong way of putting it because Grodd is still out there too we just used the like metro or whatever to get him out the way <laughs> temporarily but Grodd is still there uh Eiling at least has been yeah saved I guess or rescued from mental imprisonment and so uh, he's been let loose again I guess right but in the meantime I mean all the current struggles basically just continued so, so you know I'm looking forward to seeing exactly where it is all going to lead and for now we're just going to dive into this new episode so if you enjoy my reactions to the flash then of course guys you'll be able to get early access to the next eight plus episodes straight away over on my patreon page which is going to be linked on top of the description it's probably a whole lot more episodes than eight honestly at this point because i did plan on like increasing it uh uh yeah you know i probably have done so already by now so go check out the patreon page you'll see exactly what point in the story i'm at but i'm probably well into the second season if not the third one at this point so now nah, third one's probably a bit yeah of an exaggeration because i think the next season is also going to have like a good 23 episodes or so right but anyway we'll be well on the way go check it out full length reactions of course are going to be up there too if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety and you can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next episode already right now as well but with that being said let's dive into episode 22 i want you to take a moment and think about all the things that define your life. Who is talking to who right now? Is this a psychologist or something? Your job. Your co-workers. Your home. And now imagine if one day, in a flash... You lost all it all? that vanished. Oh man, that would be a traumatic experience. Thankfully, none of them really have had to go through something like that yet, right? But actually, with time travel coming up, I could foresee something like that. Like, imagine this, right? Barry goes missing or whatever, right? In 2024, whatever that means. But he ends up in a whole different time period. You're going to feel so alone. Accept your new life and continue on. Or would you do whatever it takes ah. to get back what was taken from you? Yeah, but actually, now that I think about it, that's literally what happened to Eobard. And I should have kind of realized that. But I don't know if that's necessarily what he's talking about. Because again, where comes the whole him versus Barry element into play? Like, for what reason? Why was he sent back there in the first place? And what was the, what was the objective? I can assure you, I will get everything that was taken. Yeah. Okay. Like, like, am I saying it right? Because he holds Barry accountable, which is actually fair enough, because it seems like him and Barry in the future went back in time and they went to this scene, right? Where they fought at his house. Mom got killed, this and that. Earbud uh, got stuck. But 
could you hold Barry responsible for that in the first place? You get what I'm saying? And why do you need to take everything away from him now? Like, do you need to... So because of something Barry does in the future, he needs to now... Yeah, he wants to now take revenge on him in the past. That's basically what it is, I guess, right? And that's why he's trying to take everything away from him. We're gonna find Eddie. How? You searched everywhere, more than once. And you haven't found anything. I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you. It's just... You miss him. She's mad at the situation. Has to take it out. Somehow, on somebody, I guess. Wells mom for me I won't let him take someone from you too it is such a weird situation because I can't help but ask myself the question kind of of like okay he holds Barry accountable for that right I mean Eobard does is he justified about that in any way like possibly it seems kind of weird to to yeah I mean it seems hard to think that for me because what did Barry do other than challenge him to go back in time and then he himself ended up getting stuck? But that's all the information we have right now. It's probably much more complex than that, right? I'm making it too simple. Why would Wells pretend to need a wheelchair? Yeah, it was a misdirect, just like everything else Wells has done. I mean, the last person we'd suspect to be the man in yellow is someone who lost the use of their legs. That's exactly right, Joe. Yeah. Which is why I started messing around with the wheelchair. Oh. Oh, it might have some extra functionality. It looks like the tech inside Gideon. I measured the output and this thing is kicking off serious juice. I think this thing is some kind of battery. Battery. As in, Wells was using it to power himself. Oh, fair enough. I was gonna say, what is he gonna do? Launch himself up in the air with it? <laughs> or something like a rocket? The accelerator, it's been reactivated. Oh. It can't be. How is that possible? It blew up. It's, it had to have been rebuilt. Well, I'm guessing that is uh, Wells is doing. He did that in the background. He's here. That's why we couldn't find him. He's been inside Star Labs the whole time. I mean, he built one secret room. There might be a couple more out there. Cisco, what'd you bring that orange soda for? <laughs> Whenever something happens with the reverse flash, liquid floats in the air. Oh. You know, Barry's fish tank, Wells' champagne. <laughs> Gives him a sign, actually, yeah. That's pretty smart. I thought he just needed it to relieve the tension or something. Knowing Cisco. Man, this is big. Mm. Oh shit. Guys. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yo, he just got in here. I was gonna say, but isn't that like real way, whatever the fuck we were looking at, this tunnel, isn't that kind of what we were looking at when he was revealing that he had the key last episode? Prisoner release. Protocol initiated. Oh, no, no, no. Prisoner release? Yo, we are not about to release literally every single prisoner. Oh, my God. No! Donna, is that not what she was called? Something like that? Shauna, maybe? God damn, it's been a minute. Do you have any idea what it's like to be stuck in that box? Now, you're the one who's going to go into a box in the ground oh, holy shit yo iris let's fucking go but was she actually purposefully released by harrison was this an accident like did she just manage to break out just at this right timing or did she use the opportunity somehow it, like if she was released by harrison what was actually the plan you know i don't like why her Oof. Yeah, man is fast. All because of that battery charge they talked about. If he doesn't have his wheelchair anymore, though, next time we drain his battery, he shouldn't be able to recharge it, right? How do you think she got out of there? Wells must have released her. Wait a sec. Did you hear that? I checked all the containment cells. Everyone's accounted for. No, no, listen. Well, that's somebody you missed. Oh, it's Eddie. Oh, wow. Okay, they're gonna find him. Thank fucking God. Oh, pardon. Oh my god, I got you. Yo. How do we know he didn't set up some kind of bomb trap? Ooh. The ring for the proposal. 
It's right here. She didn't even know he was carrying that with him last time when he got captured. We found him under that hatch in the pipeline. I'm so sorry. I, 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 th I thought I looked everywhere for you. I... It's not your fault. You know, sometimes you just can't see the clues, even if they're right in front of you. Um. <laughs> Alluding to the fact that Iris knows now. Eddie, why did he take you? I don't know. He said that we're family. He said his real name is Eobard Fawn. Well, at least you know his identity now. But he said that to Cisco already, right? He didn't say much. He just kept working on some tube. He said it was the key to him getting back everything that was taken from him. Kia, I don't understand. What... I don't know. Look, I just want to go home. Is that okay? Yes, of course. I mean, again, I would assume that when he says what was taken from him just means his time period and everybody he cared for as a result. Unless Barry actually might have ended up like killing those people literally in his current time, in his actual time period, right? Like that's a possibility too. And in that case, his, uh, you know, like drive for vengeance actually somewhat makes sense. Yeah, I can't help but speculate. Are you seeing this? That's the tube Eddie was talking yep. about. It's some sort of future power source. That's what's charging up the accelerator. Can yep. you shut it down? Do you see a power button anywhere on this thing? Dude, this thing is from the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how long until it's fully functional? Best I can tell, 36 hours? Well, that's convenient. That's when Wells will be back. Why would Wells... Yeah, exactly. That's when he's going to be coming back then in that case, right? Does he go is he like going to use this thing to charge himself up enough to the point where he can like generate enough speed so he can time travel further into the future or something? Is that what's required for it? So what happens if the particle accelerator turns on while the metahumans are in their containment cells? They're toast. We put them down there and now their lives are in danger because of us. Look, That's okay. I think you all know I've never been a fan of this arrangement. Look, I'm not going to cry over them dying. <laughs> We're going to have to move them. Move them where? Iron Heights can't handle metahumans. You're right. But Lian Yu can. Lian Yu is the island where Oliver was stranded for five years. Argus built a covert military prison on it. Okay. That's where we sent Captain Boomerang. Where, uh, Oliver keeps his... Okay. Another detail that I clearly am not in the know about, but uh, damn, I gotta watch Arrow now. Cecile. Oh, how's my favorite DA? Thanks for stopping by. Hey, anything for my favorite detective? Let's say, uh, hypothetically, I know a prison of sorts, a place that can do what Iron Heights can, where these metahumans, the bad ones, are being locked up. I would be very concerned. Oh. Especially... Concern is not really the answer I was looking for here. I was going to say, though, but uh, we saw uh, Cecile and Joe aren't, you know, behind the scenes, like, uh, you know. I think Joe is pretty feeling pretty lonely, too, nowadays, right? Okay, what are you asking me to do? I need to clear a route through the city. Barricades, police cars, the works. What am I supposed to tell people? The president's in town? God damn, we gotta transport them all? That's gonna be a mission impossible. You know that's exactly where Harrison is bound to show up. I can't. I can't get involved in this, Joe. I can't. And as your friend, and quite possibly the attorney who will one day be prosecuting you, I'm telling you, get as far away from this as possible. Okay. Well, if she's gonna be prosecuting us, then I guess that's never happening. <laughs> Argus has a transport plane that can take the metahumans to Lee and you. We just need to get them to Ferris Airfield. So Oliver Queen came through then? Uh, no, actually, it was not him. Apparently, he's in Nanda Parbat, what? wherever. Uh, Nanda what? Dude, I actually wonder, like, if I were to watch Arrow, because people, again, like, I've been made aware of the fact that you can apparently kind of watch those shows simultaneously and stuff will kind of line up. I wonder exactly how you would know you know, when to watch one or the other again, or how, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, it gets really complicated, right? But that would honestly be pretty cool. If, like, depending on the progress in one story, you can go to the other and actually see it all kind of line up again. I'm a cop. There's a certain set of rules I need to follow. And this year, I broke all of them. Lying to my boss. I know. Ignoring the law. I mean, at what point do we become no different than the people we're fighting? We only break the rules to help people. So far. Again, what if? I, I truly wonder what Barry kind of turns into, you know? Give me another one. Ice cold. Oh boy. Snot's back in town. Well, 
He always stayed here, of course. If it isn't the Scarlet Speedster, we need to talk. Yo! He's not gonna wanna cooperate with him or something, right? To help out with the security mission. Pickled eggs here are fantastic. No, I'm good. I need your help with a problem. <laughs> Cold as ice. <laughs> what do you need? Help transporting some people out of the city. First rule of business, always protect yourself. I'm not gonna help usher your enemies out of town. Hey, they're not just my enemies. They're your enemies, too. I doubt it. They will destroy Central City. Yep, and then you're out of a job. You're out of your dream. These people get loose, there won't be a city to love anymore. You won't be able to rob anyone if everybody's dead. Yeah, facts. I'll need something in return. I mean, what would he ask for? He wants a new weapon or something. <laughs> no, I mean, th this is impossible. I can't do that. Then I can't help you. There has to be. Start, there has to be. Dude, you know this guy's gonna ask for something that's gonna make him even more menacing than he already was, right? Like, he's just gonna ask Barry to have Cisco develop something new for him. Hey. Where have you been? Here, uh, work. You were kidnapped for nearly two weeks and your first thought is to go back to work? I just needed something constant in my life. I thought that was us. Uh, it was, exactly. When you took me to the waterfront and Dr. Wells abducted you, you were going to propose. I was. But now you're not? What did he do to you? Yeah, I actually kind of wonder what's changed with Eddie. He didn't do anything to me, Iris. That's what he showed me. What could he possibly have shown you that would make you change your mind about us? Oh. The future. Oh. He showed me the future, Iris. Right. We don't get married. I completely forgot. Man, <laughs> yo, but Eddie, honestly, you're letting... You're literally letting him and his supposed future dictate what your actual future is going to be now. I don't know if that's really the right call either. This is why time travel gets so fucking complicated, you know? Because it's literally influencing him now. It's, but, but, but you'd figure he still has a free choice or something, right? Like he could still do it anyway. Look, I gotta go. <laughs> and he's determining the future for her now too, great. What do you mean you talked to Leonard Snart? I asked him for help. I'm not willing to let the menace die. And we can't let them escape either. So, like it or not, Snart with his cold gun is the only one that can stop them if Cisco's transportation does not hold. Then lucky for you, I figured out what it is you can get me. This man literally just popped in here. He's got balls. You want my help? This is what I want. My fingerprints, dental records, DNA, criminal records, family tree. Wiped off the earth? We can do that. I want it destroyed. All of it. I'll do it. <laughs> if it's the only way, fine. You and me need to talk right now. <laughs> Joe was not gonna let that happen. And I'll do whatever I have to do. Barry, there's gotta be a different way to do this. Okay, well, what is it, Joe? Tell me what it is and we'll do it. We're running out of time. What is going on with you? Yeah, Barry's feeling pretty damn desperate here, man. But can you really blame him, you know? I mean, Snot's not exactly the kind of character that you want to just, you know, let loose like that, right? Plus, he doesn't even necessarily have collateral on us anymore. Because didn't we keep him alive literally to... Oh, yeah, well, to preserve Barry's identity from getting out to the real world, right? Which has not actually happened yet. It's just the people around him that know. He, he hasn't been one step ahead of us, Joe. He's been a thousand. I can't catch him. I can't beat him. What I can do is save those people down there. Wells turned them into what they are, and I'm pretty sure he does not care if they live or die. I do. Still, you have to wonder, and I'm going to keep going back to it. I'm sorry, guys, but you have to wonder what exactly happens for Barry to send himself and Eobard to the past. Eobard gets stuck. I assume Barry knew about that. And Barry himself, of course, you would figure... He does go back to the future, right? Like, because otherwise, there would be another Barry to deal with literally in this particular timeline right now. I'm assuming that's not the case. I've deleted everything the CCPD, Argus, and the FBI had on you and sent a virus to erase every digital record of you online. And this is every single piece of physical evidence the police had. Good. <laughs> oh. 
Oh shit. Just like that. Yeah, there's a sister again with a weird gold weapon. Please tell me this is a joke. Oh, you're right, Lenny. She is very uptight. I am not uptight. Well, just you a little bit at times. <laughs> you can't call me uptight. Why are you wearing your mask? Smart already knows who you are. And I promised I wouldn't tell anyone. That includes my sister. Jerk. Train wreck. Oh, interesting. So even she doesn't know. That's why he's in the suit. I am a man of my word. Yeah, you better be. I'm gonna make sure you're on that damn plane too. Oh, I remember Cisco and this uh, encounter that he had with her. You're not still mad at me, are you? I really did enjoy kissing you. D you kissed her? <laughs> no, I, I've thought a lot about you. Well, stop. Because this, right here, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> a girl can help. Oh boy, oh boy. Alpha Cisco, let's go. Man's a Sigma male. Basically, the back of this rig is being flooded with so much power that it's effectively creating a transient pulse strong enough to disrupt the metahuman's powers. So we can get him to the airport and get him on the plane without them getting fresh on us. Technically, we need somebody with a Class A commercial driver's license to drive this, though. I can drive it. I have a Class A CDO. You do? We can't all be doctors. All right, well, let's do this. Planes can... <laughs> Yo, I'm still a little bit astounded with how, whole, like, all of this has been coming together. I mean, isn't it fucking awesome? You know, Snart was easily the coolest villain of them all, right? I've said that literally from the start. And it's like, now, we're actually working together with him. <laughs> That's fantastic. Done. They're all unconscious. Holy shit. We just gassed them like that. Let's move out. After you. Ah, uh, the question really is like, can we trust them in the end? I mean, we've already basically given them what they've got or what they needed. But Snot said he's a man of his word. I guess I just gotta trust them on that then. I know you, don't I? Carl Nimbus. Used to be a member of the Darbinian crime family. That's right. But you were uh, executed by yeah. a year ago? Yeah, and the ugliest person alive. Man's got the Guinness World Record for that. If I had my powers right now, I would gas you all out of existence. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I don't need my powers to fill this rig full of bodies. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can still go for the classic hand-to-hand -hand approach, right? Don't need powers to do uh, some damage. Oof. Timing. What was that? Wherever they're taking us, we're here. We have literally just arrived. Look, Joe, I know you don't agree with this. Save it, Bear. I just want to get it done. Yeah, there's no more time for hesitation right now. What do you think I should be called? Female inmate? Oh, come on. You made my gun. Least you can do is give me a badass alias. <sighs> She's so going to get to him. Golden Glider. Smartest, sexy Cisco. Oh, I bet Cisco wanted to glide in there. Don't ever touch me. Wait. Look. Ooh. Oh. What the fuck was that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Are Pyro's getting carried over? No, they're just coming back. That's what it is, right? Because, yeah, my man used the, the, the weather changing. What the fuck? Oh shit! Well, this is kind of a deja vu. Trip cancelled! Take your last breath! <sighs> wow, so Marden literally just caused that plane to crash. Wasn't, wasn't he literally in that plane, the first plane that we saw where the crash happened? Him and his brother, right? Yeah, the green gas. Oh, Barry using his, like, uh, you know, wind powers again, just like he extinguished that fire. Caitlin, get down. Oh, God. Man, this episode is a feast of nostalgia already. The powers that made you mad. You 
Damn, he got Caitlyn with those. Gotta show the light to her again. Dude, did we even see this dude with the laser eyes? Was he locked up already? I didn't recall his face either. Oh! Holy fuck! How about we call tonight a tie? I power down if you don't want me to melt your face. Okay, well, thank God for a snort and a sister. Just remember who it was made sure you didn't get thrown on that plane bound for nowhere. You just let us go. Why'd you shoot that guy? He owed me money. Okay, actually, I don't think he has any intention of uh, giving them back to us, huh? Fuck. You sabotaged the truck, didn't you? You gave me your word. <laughs> it's true, I did, but here's the thing. I'm a criminal. Dude, that's what I was literally saying, you know, villains gonna be villains, right? It's like, yeah, I guess we'll just have to trust him on his word, but obviously I was gonna continue having a voice in the back of my head saying like, yeah, but he probably can't be trusted. What did you expect me to do, not be what I am? I saw an opportunity to turn things to my advantage, and I did. Who you're really mad at is yourself. Exactly, for believing him. Then why didn't you just kill me? Well, I guess you owe me one now, too. Plus, he likes the chase. All of this. But hey, all this says is that the snot will be back, which technically I could also see as a good thing. How's Caitlyn doing? She used that light thingy on her. She's fine. Mostly embarrassed. Thanks for not saying I told you so. But I did tell you so. <laughs> Hashtag Joe was right. I thought I could just use snark, but instead use me. Yet not the arrow. Barry. What kind am I? The kind that cares about whether or not those criminals lived or died. I mean, whatever Martin and Nimbus and Shauna did, they're human beings. And you knew letting Wells use them as pawns was wrong. You know the difference between right and... I mean, yeah, like, that's actually what I was surprised by a little bit, right? Like, the fact that we're just going the extra mile to keep him alive. But obviously, you do have to consider the fact that they were all just hurt by this accident, you know, and it was something that was unpreventable for them, too. What the hell is that? Guys, the particle accelerator is fully charged and online. Whatever Wells needs it for, it's ready. He's gonna do it right now. I mean, I still don't know what the full effects are going to be. Is he trying to get back to the future, though? You're gonna end this relationship because some lunatic from the future told you that I am destined <laughs> to marry Barry? <laughs> yes. Well, I don't believe that, okay? I believe that we choose our own destiny. I decide who I love, and I love you. I will say that it's kind of funny if it does turn out that Eddie is the one <laughs> to be breaking this off, because that's the last thing I'd expected. <laughs> At least, you know, he, uh, he left the decision to himself. Ever since the very beginning, there's been three people in this relationship. You, me... And Barry. He's actually not wrong about that. I guess I just thought I could love you enough to change things. Damn, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, dude, it's, it's, it's crazy how this whole situation started off with me just kind of feeling like, oh, oh my God, Iris, Eddie, why, why, why this? You know, why did this have to happen? Like, why did this have to get in the way of Barry getting to her, whatever, right? Because that's how he started off, but. I end up kind of just feeling sad about how this is all playing out now. In particular, I'm just kind of feeling bad for, you know, Eddie. Like, this is, in the long run, this is not going to be a bad thing for Iris, obviously, right? She's going to make the right choice here, finally, that she should have made all along. But for Eddie, I definitely do feel bad. Yep, he's approaching again, ready to use that accelerator. You've heard enough people. I know. You see me as the villain, but Barry, if you were to look back, then you would realize I have only done what I had to do. Nothing more. He might not be wrong about that. I have to stay open-minded. You can't beat me, Barry. Oh, shit. Firestorm. Yo, Ronnie just showed up, but... You brought yourself a friend. Okay. I was gonna say, is this a good thing? Was it his doing? Oh fuck, we got Arrow here too. Hope we're not too late. 
You're just in time. Oh, we brought the whole team. Let's are. go, man. You can't fight all three of us at the same time. Oh, I can't. Yeah, don't underestimate him. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, shit. Mulberry. Yo, did he just unleash another hologram like that or what happened? Was that just him activating his suit? Wow. Wow. Ooh. Oh my god, he sent Ronnie straight back to wherever the fuck he came from. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Damn, it's actually funny how finally we're kind of seeing Harrison's face through the, you know, like through the mask or whatever, right? Before they always used to blur it. Yeah, mainly because of course they were trying to keep his identity intact. Yo! The history books say you live to be 86 years old, Mr. Queen. Well, I guess the history books are wrong. Okay, well, thank God they can be proven wrong in that case. Even he believes that. <laughs> oh shit. Yo, dude, this old chase playing out on top of Star Labs. Fucking awesome. Oh. Well. You know, sometimes that catches your fall, I think, but this still was bound to hurt. Hey, I think Oliver got himself a haircut too, didn't he? Nice haircut. <laughs> I see we've abandoned our traditional green. Try something different. Look, I might need a favor from you. I mean, it's an interesting new look. A little emo, if you'd ask me. I had people walking around like that back in high school. They weren't the most popular types, but it fits his like uh, vigilante status. I got you. Ooh, damn. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're just ending things there. Well, at least we got him. I can't believe that, honestly. All right, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And, of course, you can get early access to the next 8-plus episode straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next episode already right now. So, I'll see you there.